All right, what's good, YouTube? It's Jay here. We are back with our Jedi Survivor playthrough and with the prayer that the Don't damn got stuff to do that the PlayStation won't crash today. It's been like a day or two because I had a bunch of stuff this weekend to do for Mother's Day. Uh, happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there, by the way. I don't know why I said it like that. That's right, we scanned this and the PlayStation crashed. Um, I've hold up the fruit of blah, blah, blah. Okay. Some people just kind of, uh, I saw a lot of people saying um, that they don't like like how ancient like the High Republic stuff kind of feels. I mean, I know it is an ancient by Star Wars standards, but 200 years is still 200 years, you know? And we're in a different age now with the Empire. Everything feels so different, you know? It feels like it's been ages. Where is this, uh... Oh. Who are you? Oh, it's a droid. High Republic droids. So they even made it to Tantalor. What? I want to know what happened with that invasion. They were just like coming to seek for glory or some shit, and then they just say, well, we're just going to kill everybody, lol. Uh, let's save really quick because I don't want to rescan those items again if the PlayStation decides it just does not want to exist anymore. Okay. On a mission we are. Which saber stances do I have? Okay, I have the single. Even though cross guard is definitely pretty cool, uh, it's it's a little too slow for my taste, and I've always liked single blades. So this is Tanalor. Yep. Not what you were expecting. I don't know what I was expecting. So much has changed since I first heard its name. Look at this water; it's gorgeous. Couples this way. Dagon and Centauri Cree plan their future here. And look where it got them. <laughs> That's a. Unfortunate way to put it, but yeah, true. Look where he got him. They're dead. They're all dead now. Uh, let's see. I want to know exactly how the Santari Creed died. Did she just die of old age? Whoa. At the temple? The Verdant Gardens. Cal, why do you run Lord like this? Not let this end peacefully. He has already used fatherhood to justify betrayal and murder. Now we have him cornered, with nowhere else to run. He will kill or be killed. What? Yeah. Say something. Uh, what? What? Right. What? But what about Kata? She's not much younger than we were when our families were taken from us. I know. You and I will carry that loss for the rest of our lives. But Kata still has a chance. Yes, she does. Very well. We will give Bo the choice to stand down. For Kata's sake. And Buried uh, invasion. It remains a mystery. Interesting. He said and hours, by the way. I didn't mean to interrupt it right there, but, uh, you know. This place is gorgeous, though. Yeah, so there are some like things that haven't been like fully explained, you know, like how they actually found the planet, you know. I just jump over this. <laughs> was that her just teleporting or was that an animal? I keep thinking about something Seer once said. A warning. Every Jedi faces the dark side. I feel so much hatred towards Bode. Seer won her battle with the dark side. You will too. He's still here. Good. Okay, a set of starfighter to just explode, like just, just fuck with the engine. <laughs> just make it like a car bomb, you know. Do, do uh, Z95 headhunters have catalytic converters? Because I bet you we could mess with that if they did. Fall back to the temple. The Nile are enveloping our position. Master Gera, that is an order. Last stand. So, I, we, there's so much mystery as to what actually happened, you know? Look at that. Wow. All right, well, you want to scan it? There you go, buddy. Ceremonial fountain, a tri-pointed water feature built to symbolize the three core pillars of the Jedi Order. The four is knowledge and self-discipline. Jedi strive at all times to gain master or, mastery over all three, and that's where they make a mistake. Nobody is perfect. 
Okay. Do you hear that? Gotcha. <laughs> Wait, 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 let me, let me, let me say it really quick. Start to wonder why. Oh, I can just listen to her sing. This is Marin. She's a friend. I'm sorry Papa hurt you. Yeah. He said I'd never see you again. What are you doing here? Kata, your father stole something very important. We're gonna ask him to give it back. Will you show us the way? Okay. Follow me. Poor Kata. She's really the one that suffers the most out of all of this. I don't like it here. It's dark and lonely. You don't have to be afraid. Better? You could have said thank you. <laughs> wow. There he is. He probably senses already come here. Kata! How did you get here? It wasn't easy. You shouldn't have followed us. Papa, don't! Stay back, Kata. This is the only way to keep you safe. She will be safe. I promise, Bode. But listen to me. It's over. Lay down your weapons. This planet will be a haven for those hunted by the Empire. Including Kata. And you. But you have to surrender. Now. Go outside, Kata. Listen to them, please. Oh. I will decide what's best for my family. Oh, shit. See, I got beat either side, motherfucker. Ow. Damn yours. Yo, that's cool. choices you could have made. 
Whoa. Oh, we're doing this again. Let's go. Like, you don't have to do this, man. Just talk to us. What you got, Oh, it just keeps going? Ow! Just my home now. He's doing whatever he, he's literally Anakin. Obsessed. You put a grenade on me? In most cases that would kill me. You know what? The dark side is stronger today. We could have worked together, man. I understand your pain. I understand wanting to keep your daughter safe. He's literally just Anakin. Obsessed with saving the one that he loves. Such a point where he does a stupid ass decision. Oh shit, he's got a stun grenade still. Hey, this time I got BD1 with me. Help BD. Nah, 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 we ain't, we ain't, we ain't, we ain't weak like this. We ain't weak like that. It's different out here in the hood, brother. Enough. Oh my God, this is so badass. Damn, he's strong. Oh, he's done with the Star Killer Sands? Okay. Oh, he's just gonna do red attacks. This is insane, honestly. Oh, I didn't think he was gonna... I'm not a good Dark Souls player, I'm sorry. Oh, that's cool. So his choices aren't the best decisions and they don't have to be logical. Betraying everybody wasn't logical, you know? It makes perfect sense. Like, he's obsessed. He wants to keep his daughter safe. He's fallen through his emotions. Like a certain dark sider we know.
Dude, the heat fucking hurts. Come here. Damn. I didn't mean for him to break my guard like that. Let's just go back to single blade. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. What it's like to grow up alone. Please listen to them, Papa. All right. And when the Empire comes, will you be able to protect my little girl? <laughs> I'm sorry, Kada. I tried. Oh yeah, he's going off the deep end. Oh, he's going off the absolute deep end. That was for Seer. That was for Seer. He did that to himself, man. But that's just how it goes, man. Well, the tactical guide updated. Um... The moment he force pushed Kata, it's like, okay, he's clearly, there's no saving this guy. So what do we even have now, man? Better. Thanks. Good. We should speak. I was not much older than you when I lost my family. For many years I carried this pain. I did not want to feel better. Why? I thought if I let go of the pain, I would be letting go of the people I loved. But I was wrong. And one day, I met someone who also lost his family. Together, we found another way to survive. This pain is yours. It is part of you. When my mother died, it changed Papa. And me too, I guess. Yes. But it does not have to define you. And you must not let it consume you.
I just want to say this is Star Wars. Oh shit, dude, they got me tearing up a little bit. <laughs> oh man. Rest in peace, Seer. Man. And that's the rest in peace, Cordova. I feel so bad for her, dude. I feel bad for all of them, Bode included. He shouldn't have did what he did, but man, it's... The Empire caused all of this, in a way. Cal has gained my respect, man. Uh, Marin? Why the hell are you walking like that? What the? Oh, it's fast forwarding. <laughs> I thought the game. I thought it broke. <laughs> my own path when I needed to. You taught me what it truly means to be a Jedi. Now you're gone. We will continue your legacy, Seer. We will build something that can outlast the Empire. I promise you that. I promise. Don't get obsessed. We just saw what happens with that. But I'm scared. I almost lost myself. I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know if I'm ready for what comes next.
Wow. That was arguably one of the most incredible experiences I've ever had the pleasure of experiencing from a Star Wars perspective. Easily one of the coolest, most insane, and most well-written stories and games and Star Wars pe media, whatever you want to call it, that I've ever experienced in my 20-ish years of love of Star Wars, man. From a kid up until now, that was literally amazing. There's a lot to kind of think about with this too when I think about it, you know, I mean, from the very beginning until now, I don't think I've had this much fun with a game that's Star Wars related since the last Jedi game, really, man. I loved love the story from start to finish. I love the the way the game played. I love the way the everybody the voice actors were. I loved everything about it. That was literally one I have it takes a lot to make me feel emotional and going all the way up to the point where we lost Seer and Cordova in the whole situation where it just felt like hope just kind of got ripped out of our hands, you know. I got to say man, that was so amazing. This this, this was one hell of a journey, man. Uh and I gotta say, I, I, I gotta give it a 10 out of 10, like performance issues are here and there aside and the PlayStation breaking here and there. Um, yeah, man, that was, that was an absolutely incredible, incredible journey from start to finish. And I'm very happy you guys got to go along with it, uh, with me, man. I know it took a while to kind of get through the playthrough, but I mean, it was worth it. I enjoyed the game and it's easily my top five Star Wars games of all time now, easily. I loved every second of it, man. It felt raw, it felt emotional, and you could kind of feel for everybody. You know, everybody was literally a survivor in this case. Seer was a survivor, Cordova was, Bode even, like regardless of the way he went about it, you know, it all, it all felt very Star Wars, you know? Bode's betrayal still hurts. Holy cow, that I actually had me as mad as Cal was. You can hear the raw emotion in his voice when he was yelling that whole time, and Honestly, I felt the exact same way. I, I just couldn't believe the way everything kind of went down, man. Cal has become one of my favorite characters in Star Wars media, whether it's the original EU or the new Disneyverse. He's literally one of the most phenomenal characters I think we've ever had in Star Wars. And this whole crew, it, it makes me wonder now that we're definitely going to be getting a third game. This is a cliffhanger, 110%. Now we've got Kata, who I'm going to assume is Force sensitive. We've got a lot of um, galaxies left to explore, and I think we probably can explore Tantalor still, maybe? I... I don't know. Man. Wow. What an incredible, incredible story, and well done to Respawn and everybody that put work into this, because, like, you know, with so much questionable content around Star Wars nowadays, getting gems like this... It's nice. It, it's really freaking nice, man. I enjoyed everything from the level design to the music to the interactions with all the other side characters. To the, it, it was incredible, man. It was incredible. I did see some people complain about the fact that Seer was able to hurt Vader and it never made any sense to me that people are upset about that. It's a Jedi Master, not a Padawan, and, and a Jedi Master that's overcome her fear at that. Of course she's gonna be powerful. I said that in the last video, so I won't go into that, but you know, this is what makes Star Wars Star Wars. Everybody having faults, becoming stronger and becoming more powerful because they're able to overcome their fears and stuff. This is the reason why I literally fell in love with Star Wars. This is the stuff that I love, man. And it was very well written, you know. We're gonna see if there's anything else. Oh, there is. Well, it's not exactly what we expected. But this place is our home now. Yeah, Grease. Yeah, I guess it is. Still got a lot of work ahead of us. It will take time to contact the hidden path. And find the anchorites. And build a saloon. I mean, the <laughs> place is creepy, but it does have franchise potential. This belongs with you. It belongs with all of us. What do you think, kid? Should we give it a shot? Yeah. Let's do it. Ah, oh, that's the spirit! Oh, that's great. Come on, I'll bet you're hungry. I'll make you something to eat. Did you ever have a scar stick?
Hmm. Almost new perks and lightsaber colors. Any skill points to carry over? New journey plus free perks. Or new journey plus free perks. Purity grows the passive increase. Weapon damage for both friends and foes. Warrior uh, replace the standard energy and new, more difficult combat encounters. Really? Try to set it randomizes your cosmetics on death. <laughs> what the fuck? Wow. Well, we can't explore Tantalord now. Is this point? Yeah, it's still right here. Wow, we're, I'm surprised they didn't give us all of our health back. They usually do that in these kind of things, you know? Okay. Um. Let's go back to the temple atrium really quick. We didn't get a chance to actually explore because we had to go fight our poor dark side fallen friend. This is our home now. There's an echo. Star, wonder where you are. Ghost star, are you very far? All that love. I feel bad for all of them. I hate that boy Bo did, but uh, I'll pull for senses. Jesus, please. He has the will to fight. And I admire it, but it is not only his life we would risk. The ships are leaving. There is no time. I suggest you both join us. Last plea. All right, well, it seems there's something, uh... You know, just where to look. Yeah? Let's see. Jedi Order Edict. A Jedi Order Edict on the Foundation of understand ever-ready watching over the galaxy. All right, well, let's get back to the Mantis, and we'll make our decision from there, because I do have to actually I promise my friend I'd give him back his PlayStation today. I feel bad for everybody. Everybody has suffered because of the Empire. Because of the Empire. Man, I cannot speak. Everybody has suffered because of the Empire. It's really unfortunate when you think about it, you know? Wait, do we have those new perks? Or is it only new game plus? Okay, it is only new game plus. Man, this sucks. I'm not actually going to be able to do new game plus. Frick. <laughs> oh, man. I really wish I would have been able to buy this on PC. Or rather, I wish the PC port hadn't been so um, busted because that was the plan to buy it on PC. Which means now I'm going to do all this shit on PC again. But maybe we'll do that in the stream, you know? But wow, what an incredible, incredible Time journey. see if that compass is still working. Why wouldn't it be? With my luck. It is a mechanical object. You have no control over it. Fair. Fair enough. Thanks for being honest with me. Ready when you are. I just hope that compass still works. Haven't used these since the scrapyard on Braca. Hi, Kata. I'm um, sorry for killing your dad, but he went a little well, rogue. Next, let's go to... <laughs> let's go to Coruscant. <laughs> let's go to... Let's go to Jetta. Heading to Jetta. Cal has suffered a lot, man. Works. It will. Oh, look at you. So hopeful. Like a hope fountain or something. Quit while you're behind, Grease. How you doing back there, kid? Fine. Thanks. She just got basically thrown into a family of strangers. So, like the Jedi. Okay, we're good. Where are we gonna land now? Wait, what? This still works? Didn't this place just get nuked by the Empire? How in the world does this place still have a functioning hangar bay? 
She looks so uncomfortable. Like, I don't know any of these people, man. I'm scared and nervous. I wonder how many of those anchorites survived. Seer trained them, so they gotta be tough. I'm sure some of them made it out. I hope you're right. You know, I never thought I'd say this, but it'd be nice to see one of them right about now. When you confronted Bode, what did he say? That we gave him no choice. That he'd do anything to keep Kata safe. He said it was something only a parent would understand. That is a poor excuse. It is a pretty have seen shitty excuse. Fight to the death to save their young, but we are not beasts. I agree with Mayor. out there. It is always cold out there. I hope they're all right. I agree with Mayor and what the hell? That's a shitty excuse, brother. Wait, does it want me to go back to Kobo? Yeah, hey, that's a dog shit excuse, man. What's this one say? How blind I've been. I know how to turn them. It's so obvious. Poor bastards in love. Wow, what a dick! Wow, you piece of garbage. We got a chest right here. Well, I'm glad we came back here now. Aww. Aw oh, man. Yep, that's about right, man. Wow. Sears lightsaber. Oh man, that's just wow, what a way to go. I'm surprised this place is still functioning. Or rather, I'm surprised they didn't burn it down to the ground. I guess the Empire has no point. Or has no reason to do that, I guess. I mean, I expect it to be a molten crater, you know, getting nuked from orbit by Stardust forever. This works too. Cause that means I can find more stuff to listen to. <laughs> man, what a douchebag. Oh yeah. I, I, now I know I can turn him. He's in love. He didn't even try to be a good guy, you know what I mean? Like, he tried, I guess, but he, he tried to... I guess the way to look at it is, like, the moment we, you know, started talking about bringing the Anchorites and uh, everybody with us, that's when he lost his cool. He's like, okay, well, you know, originally our goals were probably aligning, but now he doesn't want to do the way I want to do it, so, you know, I have no alternative choice, which just wasn't true. He could have went about this so differently. Let's see, what do we have here? Brothers, sisters, we have a most honored guest. The wise one who instructed Master Junda. Come, come Master Cordova. You must be wary from your travels. I will show you the way. This is outside? Oh yes, yeah, that's the desert, all right. Master's arrival. Oh man. This one is, this is, I, I, even though I'm enjoying this like 110%, this is one sad ass ending. I'm not gonna lie, man. We've lost so much. Actually, there's no point in me jumping down here, I guess. Wait, what? Oh, okay, yeah, I made, I made a good point. I made a good choice right there. We're gonna see what's left in here, man. Sears Archive, can we still visit it? I just can't believe that, man, like, it, what, what kills you the most is like it goes to show how far bold had fallen. I mean, the planet got colder somehow. It feels the same to me. It was definitely colder. But this time it, 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 it. Um, but you know, it's like damn, like he he clearly very have very clearly fallen so far. Oh, the archive, man. Wow. You do it now. No hesitation. This is a secure channel. How did you... Listen to me. I'm an Imperial agent who has located a terrorist cell on Jeddah. Don't trust your scanners. Just follow this locator beacon's coordinates. There are multiple Jedi at this location. Inform the Inquisitorius at once. If Lord Vader wants Seer Junda, he better hurry. Wow. He knew what he was doing was wrong. He had the choice to not do it, but he he did it anyway. I can't believe we could jump up here. Well, it's good to know that we could have we we just could have came up here the whole time like later on, but uh. Is there anything else here? Poor archive, man. Hey, a lot of these books still look good. I don't know what they're talking about so hard to try and save it and it's just all destroyed pretty much all right 
in the next part, we'll do a little bit of galaxy exploration, guys, and then, um, you know, that'll be the end of it, man. Thanks for coming on this journey. This was one hell of a playthrough, and I enjoyed it from start to finish. We've got one more video to make, uh, maybe two. We'll see. But again, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this playthrough, leave a like on this video. Sub to the channel more game content, as always, guys. This has been Jay the Gamer. May the Force be with you all. Peace.